art is complicated and uh, uh, has developed over time and it took new forms, um, obviously artists started to use the new technologies in order to create art. And um, the technologies give you opportunities to do much more than just uh, build an, uh, an object like the, the classical ones that were used to, whether they are painting or sculpture. You can paint with ideas, you can paint with technology, you can paint with light, you can um, organize uh, um, ideas and um, feelings and you can create experiences. So it's much more than just seeing things, it's also having an experience that can be um, artistic. And also what uh, new media art does, it allows for interactivity. So I think any kind of, of uh, uh, classical artist would have enjoyed to see that people interact with their art. Now you can make paintings that talk to you. You can make um, uh, sculptures that, that uh, you can touch or you can, you can somehow manipulate in, in various ways. And um, uh, this creates new experiences and keeps people more in front of a work of art and gives them the possibility to, to think about things, to feel certain things, to have experiences. So I believe for Christian artists, even if they do not necessarily like or can embrace the technologies, because not every artist has these skills of, of using technologies, just knowing about them and thinking about the potential that new media art brings, I think it's very important if they want to be relevant in this world. Because you will find more people interacting with art, let's say at festivals or in, in media exhibitions, than they do in museums, or they interact at a different level. And here I'm talking about the, the newer generation. So finding ways of um, expressing your thoughts, your feelings, your, your uh, uh, desires in uh, ways that are relevant for the modern world, it's totally worth for any artist, and even more so for a Christian artist.